Hey everyone, it is five o'clock and it's Sunday, so it's time for So Sweet Sunday. I am so glad to be back. Um, let's share everywhere while I wait for you all to pop in. All right, so we share to So Sweet Academy. Of course, I don't have my book. It's so sweet to learn. Um, let's go off of memory first. Teaspoon, teaspoon of sugar. Tea. Teaspoon of sugar, embroidery, bows, vinyl, and more. My chaotic embroidery. Ooh, she's got my chaotic bakery too. Let me make sure I don't do the wrong one. There we go. Um, brown girls. Beginners. We have some beginners groups. I think that's the right one. And there's like one more. While I'm scrolling, how are you all doing today on this lovely Sunday? All right, I'll have to go back afterwards. Sometimes I say that and I forget to go back. Y'all know that? Okay, anyway. All right, I'm here. What are y'all doing? I missed y'all. I missed y'all a lot. So I was not on here. Thank you, Charmaine. I was not on here last week because I had an emergency. Um, all is well, it was my daughter and she is fine she's y'all she's fine she's back to being the little cute fun spoiled 13 year old that she is so all is well there and thank you for all the prayers and the messages and yes tina my hair is purple it's definitely purple it's definitely straight a lot of people ask me did you perm your hair i did not perm my hair um or relax my hair i just got it straightened and i love it but it is so much upkeep so i cannot wait to get it twisted back up and um get back to my other hairstyle no Jeff you did not miss it I am running a couple minutes late because I was trying to uh, I was trying to get a couple things together but yeah but I'm here hey Amelia hey Jeff hey Bell hey Ann hey Charmaine hey Dawn hey Joanne hey Doc hey Tina was, hey Peggy, hey Jenny. L in London State of Mind. In, oh, in a London State of Mind. Um, thank you, Doc. All right. So guess what, y'all? We're gonna go ahead and get started. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready to get started? Um, <laughs> y'all know me. I think everything equates back to a song, so that just made me think of a song. But today, hey Angela, what we will what we will be doing. It's a bucket hat. So I ordered these bucket hats. And I didn't really like them. I don't really like it. It's just kind of plain. I couldn't think of something to go on it. But I realized that a lot of you all like bucket hats. And also Father's Day is, you know what? Actually, I kind of do like this. This kind of does look cute. My, never mind. I take that back. I like it. I like it. But, um, I realized that Father's Day is coming up and a lot of fathers wear bucket hats. And you know me, I like to give you all ideas on what to use. So let's do a bucket hat, all right? Is, that, is this what y'all wanna do? Let me know. Y'all wanna do something else, you tell me. But as of right now, as for me and my household today, we're doing a bucket hat. Uh, hey, Margaret. Thank you so much. Hey, Diane. Let's see, everyone's saying, from what, saying where they're from. Let's do that. While I'm getting everything together, I always love to know where everyone's from. We have Tennessee. We have Alabama. We have Michigan. We have... <laughs> we have... Listen, I see someone talking junk down there. Who said that? Matthew said they need more mantis. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, that is such a word. I said that word today to somebody. I said mantis. Okay, that's a thing. 
anytime you need it's not boxers anymore you guys ladies we do not call the men's boxers boxers anymore they're manties <laughs> they're man panties okay if you're wondering what that's all about go back to my youtube channel and watch the episode where we did the boxers okay <laughs> they're manties for sure we got sunny fort lauderdale florida i used to live in hollandale um we got another tennessee atlanta indiana amelia says bucket hat please nebraska sunny dry california georgia in house tennessee texas cottonwood alabama and let's see ohio in the house all right are y'all ready i'm like all I'm hyped today, you guys. You wanna know why? My Keurig went out yesterday. It just it just pooped out on me. And it would not Keurig. <laughs> My Keurig stopped Keuriging. And I went today to Target. I was gonna go yesterday, but I ran out of time. I went today and I bought a new one from Target. Well, guess what? Target had um Keurigs on sale so I got like the mini it's the mini Keurig sink it's the mini something like that, mini series or something like that it was regular price like 109 I got it on sale today for $79 that's a win and then not only that I came home and fixed a cup of coffee that was just about an hour or so ago so I'm like all up here and ready okay so let's get started <clears throat> the design that we will be putting on here is a cutesy little flamingo because i love flam i don't know if y'all know it or not i love flamingos okay i love flamingos I'm looking back there let's sit on my floor oh okay sometimes my background is messy and i'll be like oh can they see that um we got toledo Get a baristan, baristan, baristian, baristian, baristian. I don't. I bet I'm saying that wrong. Is that another brand like Keurig? <clears throat> yeah, I was so sad. It just it went out. It would not. The water would not come out of it. And I think that that happens after a while because I got my um, my mother-in-law one a while back and she said the same thing happened with hers so all right i'm gonna use um sticky stabilizer you don't have to i'm gonna use it because it's just easier a lot easier to use the sticky stabilizer we got California, we have Chicago, adult drink with pods. Oh, it's an adult cure. Oh, Angela, send me the link. I thought I was doing something when I was using, um, not using, when I found like these little margarita popsicles. Susan, I think that's what it is. Hard water will clog the tube. All right, you guys, so I'm going to angle the camera down. I have a dress on, so let me make sure I'm appropriate down here. All right, let me move this so I can angle you all down some. Did you check to see if it had a water descale? So I saw something when I was buying the other one. I saw something that uh, would have de hard water ties it. All right, let's move that because we are like all up in some legs there. Hey. Okay. <clears throat> but I did think about that. And I am pretty sure we have hard water out here. So I bet that's what it is. Okay. So I'm going to use my 4x4. Four Y'all know me, I have the five by seven, but I definitely like to use whatever, um, whatever is the closest one to the size that I'm using. So I scaled it, I scored it. Let's 
So we're doing a, it be like a quick overview. I go more into detail on my actual tutorials, you know, the ones that I do. Usually they're paid tutorials, but I do them on like Saturday or Sunday nights. Those I go more into detail. Like, and I can really go into teaching mode. This one we just kind of hang out. We hang out. You all learn still, but you know, you know. I do have one coming up. It is the chair, the stadium chair tutorial. Actually, I'll show you. If we're on here long enough and somebody reminds me to show you the chair one, it's the same one that's on the picture, but um, I will show you. All right, so I can't see any of the comments, really. Um, I will, I'll link it. Um, Charmaine. All right. So what I'm gonna do, and I haven't even done a test run. Y'all, to be honest, I've never even done a bucket hat on a single needle. So we're gonna run through this together. Let's see here. Shall we make a mark? Okay. Yes, we shall. It's always my fault. I can't see what y'all are up there joking about, Jeff. All right, but one thing you do want to make sure you do is get this little sweatband out of the way, just like when you're doing hats, okay? And I'm choosing to do it on this back side, I think. I think that's why I'm choosing this side. Because, <clears throat> excuse me. Because on this side, it has more dark camo look to it. And this one, I have a little lighter of a surface area. And the little flamingo's legs is dark too. So hopefully, it'll show up. I'm going to do that in black. But all I'm going to do, notice I didn't even mark anything. This is, this is for me. So it's definitely going to be an eyeball it situation. Okay. Um... Some people use just the regular stabilizer and spray it. As a matter of fact, I watched um, Charmaine's YouTube the other day, and that's how she did it, and it stayed on there um, really well. So you can either use the spray or you can do regular with the adhesive. Grab a couple pins. I like to pin mine down really well. No matter what I'm doing, I try to pin it down pretty securely. And I was also thinking through which side. Sometimes you gotta think through which side the bulk is gonna be on. This, it doesn't have a lot of bulk, so it's okay to have it towards the middle there, I think. We'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't work out, guess what y'all do? You just take it off and repaint it like it's it's really that easy y'all let's let's not overthink it we're gonna stop overthinking in 2021 we're not overthinking anymore i think we're good so I'm, I want to say about four pins will get us there. I think pretty good with four pins. What do y'all think? Uh, as I say that, I just realized I'm putting my fifth pin in. I think we're okay. I think we're good. Okay. I could probably stand to do one right there. But since this is not stretchy, it's not going anywhere. But just for kicks and giggles, let's pin it up. I'm going to be using my um, USB. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. While we're waiting for it to load, we're gonna pick some thread out. So it's a flamingo, so there's not really much picking to go on, except for pink. Where's all this coming from? Why are you coming with this little guy? Roll that back up. Takina says hot pink. Yes, ma'am. I see. I can't see. I can never pin that good. I always push through the stabilizer. It's something about the counter pressure. It's like you have to use the right amount of counter pressure to keep it from pushing through. All right. So we're going to use like a light pink for the feather or the feather for the, you know, the flapper, the wing, <laughs> the flapper. Um, and do I have a hot pink out here? Oh, I don't. I might have to run and get a hot pink. I must have taken it out of here because that's definitely not going to work. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? Nope, too. Good job. Hold on, y'all. Let me run and get a hot pink. Talk amongst yourselves. Options. We gotta have options. We gotta have options here. We're so close. We've gotten to know each other. The flapper. <laughs> Jamila, me too. I make if y'all only knew. If y'all knew how much stuff I just how many words I just make up in a day. Probably some of these embroidery words I use too. You know, you make it up, but you gotta you gotta be confident with it. You gotta sell this stuff. The flapper. What kind of hat is that? It's a bucket hat. Oh, y'all can't really see. Let's turn this light down. Okay. So this is the hot pink matte at the last minute. Um yeah, the 1920s flapper. There you go. Good, Susan. See, you get me. Susan gets me. All right, then we have this hot pink. Okay, I think I may have given us too many options. So we have a lot of hot pinks here. Whoopsie. So let's do, so what we'll do, let's look at the, the two of them together. Oh, so a lot of you all haven't seen me in like three weeks, two weeks, because I missed two weeks. But if you're in my group in the It's So Sweet to Learn, y'all got a special treat on, was that Friday? Yeah, it was Friday. I did those um, robes. We had a two hour live, y'all, a whole two hours. When I deploy, just the name we go by, Booney Caps. I've never heard that. All right, y'all, so let's pick. All right, somebody says, I'm, so Amelia said matte. The only thing about the pink, once I got it up here with the matte, was I think this one might be too coral. I think that one might be too coral. Y'all know I'm always looking for a reason to use matte or sparkly. Jenny said it was great Friday. Yeah, we did, I, we did robes, it was like marathon. All right, and I think I'm gonna use this one. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm glad y'all enjoyed Friday, I'm glad. Um, if you're not in the group, I think I linked, I did, I linked it above, you can go there. I'm, I leave all my replays up, so you can catch the replay. Frosted, I'm a big fan of the frosted matte thread. Yeah, it was orange, yep. Okay, so let's go with, all right, so this one might be too hot pink. 
right as I said that I think Susan said the middle hot pink I think this I think this hot pink I think I like this hot pink <laughs> this hot pink it is <laughs> and this one's a cute one though so yep all right pinky who said was this one was this one on the pinky I don't know I don't remember all right so there we have it the one I can't I don't know so this one is this is <laughs> this is for the flapper and this one is gonna be the body okay the file it's a cute like add-on file it comes in a bunch of little sizes so let's get you all back down here and fix my skirt so I'm not so but this doesn't turn into a whole different kind of live see y'all okay I'm just gonna slide it on there oh yeah and let's go ahead and start pulling that up yes oh I was about to say they would not load y'all so I was doing a tutorial um for somebody it was an in-home tutorial why not Okay, so I'm getting the error message. This USB cannot be used. When I get that message, I think it usually happens when I unplug it from my machine improperly. When I don't um, reject it, eject it, eject it properly. I get that message over here. Well, let me tell you another message I got recently. Um, I was doing... I was doing a lesson you know one-on-one -on -one lesson in person and we were using the p e 770 and i got one saying that the file or something it was too big or they couldn't use it because it was just basically too many files on there okay now it's loading um when it does that and i turn it on i just automatically turn the machine off turn it back on and it works i don't i don't know the thought process behind it but you know me if nothing if it doesn't work unplug it you know I worked for a cable company when I was <laughs> right out of high school and we power cycle everything. Just unplug it, count to 10, plug it back in, you know, unplug the power from the back of your router, all that stuff. But that's what I do with my um, machine here when that error message comes up and it works. But I think on that other situation, it didn't work because the USB, oh, I didn't save it. Hold on. I thought the flamingo was on here. All right, we'll have to just go to add-ons. Um, but I think the USB file was just too big. It was a three gig and it just was too much for that one. So add-ons, and then let's go back to the right one. Y'all, these nails, they gotta go. When doing patch, does the design always need a running stitch or a tack down stitch? Um, let me think about that. When doing a patch, <coughs> If it's applica I don't Jeff, what do you think about that answer? Are you there? Jeff or Matt? Can I phone a friend? It depends on how you're doing it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I just I didn't I don't really know how to phrase that like if you're doing a closed in edge or if it's like you're doing like an applique feel to it I don't know I told y'all I'll make something up for you in a quickness come on little buddy y'all want to see what I'm seeing we're waiting we have the there we go 
All right, so I had to, I guess I didn't save it to my um, file, so I'm just having to go into the folder on here itself. All right, so here we go. These are my little flamingos. Hey, Sandra. So this one is a, is that my smallest one? One point four six. Let's go. Let's see what this one does for us. Let's see if we got enough room for that one. We do. You might bring it up, son. Whoa. Slow down. Move it over some. Y'all know if you need to see where it's going, you just put the, um, you just roll it down some. But don't move it with your roller down. Don't do that. I would not advise. All right, what is first? So I'm okay with my placement. Let me make sure again, I'm checking the top, checking the bottom, left, right, go back to the center, hit okay, embroidery. And they want us to do the little beak first. So there is, where is it? Is it in um, the Bahamas? Somewhere there's like a flamingo beach. And like flamingos are just out there. Y'all know me and my travels. I want to go. There's also a pig beach. I'm not going to do that one. I'm okay with not going to the pig beach. It's like hog beach or something. You just swim with pigs. I'll pass. All right, this is a very fast stitch. I Every... I don't know. I missed that. I'm going to have to go back and look at what y'all are talking about. I didn't change the tension or anything, so I'm just going to watch it as we go. I might change it a little bit. All right. Change the thread. Next we have, oh shoot. <laughs> we shouldn't have changed the thread. We still gotta do the legs. Don't y'all hate that? Changing threads should be like an Olymp Olympic sport. Thank you, y'all. I can't really see the comments, so I think Jeff is answering somebody. He said sticky stabilizer and I pinned it. So whatever question that answers. Now I change it. Now we can go pink. All right, so we are doing the body. So the body is gonna be the darker pink. And then, you know, we're doing the flapper. We're doing that light pink. But, so, okay, I didn't do a Father's Day one. My dad does not wear bucket hats, not that I know of. But I wanted to show you all 
um, that you can do bucket hats on a single needle. So grab any of your designs. Oh, this is cute. Y'all can't see it, can you? Grab any of your designs that you would put on a hat and throw it on a bucket hat for your dad, for your husband, or any of the men in your life. <clears throat> or you can do them some antis, I'm just saying. All possibilities are welcome. Who doesn't like flamingos? Flaming bomb. What is that, Jeff? What does that mean? Um, this is Pelon. I use Pelon sticky stabilizer. Y'all, this is cute. I might wear, I might actually wear that. It's a flamingo. So it was between this and the hustle. Y'all know my, you know the hustle, the word hustle. That's my favorite thing. I got my, I could have worn it with my hustle pants, my hustle hat. Now I, I would have a hustle, um, bucket hat but I decided to do a flamingo it's kind of popular last night I was at the fireworks show we had an um, event here called Thunder Over Evans if y'all saw my page um, they had fireworks and everything and I found a cute little restaurant too while I was while I was out and about yesterday so we went back there sat outside on the patio and waited till the fireworks show I think that might be my new spot every year for that show. Or maybe even 4th of July, too, if I go down there. So, all right, flapper's next. And if anybody missed the beginning, the flapper is definitely the wing, but I was having a brain fart, and we went with it. Everybody else agreed. I didn't hear the flamingo fuss. Flappy flappy. Uh oh, what was that? Okay. So I have done this before. I've done this on a hat, the um, flamingo, and I've also done it on like a shirt. I had like a, a um, sleeveless tank top or something. I I use it as a as a night shirt. This was only a five minute stitch, y'all. Maybe even less. Three minutes, maybe. What do I need? I need black. Notice I'm not, I don't always put my um, spool pin on. Sometimes it gets hung up around there and I just forego it. And we're done. This is the easiest ever. If y'all are afraid to try these bucket hats, listen, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Okay, so we're back. Um, there's an extra little string there I'm gonna cut, and then then I'm coming back. Okay. Look, it's a flamingo on a bucket hat. On a bucket hat. Let's take our pins out. Y'all, this, I'm telling you, if you all did not know about the Sticky Stabilizer Ministry, I didn't know for a while. Like it, I just started using Sticky Stabilizer within like the last, um, within the last three years or so. I had it forever, but I just never used it. Watch this. Boom. 
just like that just like that we got a flamingo on a hat with a flapper and it's centered I didn't measure anything um, but I did do it on the back the tag is right in here I did it because remember I wanted to show up we got a flamingo on a bucket hat we got it okay so recap <laughs> pun intended um we used Pelon sticky stabilizer the design was a three minute stitch but the size of it is uh one so basically two inches wide by one inch tall it looks like it's more looks different i don't know that's what it says 1.01 inches tall by 1.96 i don't know yes sandra you can get this from um joanne's you can also get it from amazon i couldn't think of it. you can get it from amazon now i have to do some hats for my sorority absolutely so these are great for sororities they're great for dads they're great for i mean you can put anything on here i was looking for like a cute little boss one like girl boss or some little sassy saying but i couldn't find the one that i wanted there was a couple of different designs that i ran across i have another one i have a red one this is a size small medium medium This is a medium, I mean a small medium. And then there's a, um, also an extra lar large, extra large. Y'all wanna see how the large, extra large fits? Okay. Oh. And this one is a large, extra large. I look like oh I like this one so this one's a little bigger I got this one because usually when my hair is twisted um, I need more room so that one might fit for that and then this one is the medium um, okay for all y'all I don't have the site right oh it's back I don't have the site right now as to where I got them from, but Google bucket hats. That's how I found them. Um, just like bucket hats in bulk, and you can find them there. It's simple to sew. All right, let's see. What did I miss? Jeff. Purchase design. Okay, so that I'm going to let Jeff answer that because I don't know what question that is. What did, I miss? did I miss anything up top? How do you get a simple machine needle to start stitching in the middle of the design instead of way over to the right? How do you get the single needle machine to start stitching in the middle of the design instead of way over to the right? Um, I think this would answer your question. So, I wanna say just make sure it's right, it's in the middle. I think I think that'll answer you. I think that'll fix your problem, maybe, because here it shows you where the top of it is, the bottom. Just always make sure it's in the middle there. That's all I can really think of. I've never had it to stitch, or either just make sure when you get to the embroidery part. I mean, make sure it's at the first one. Make sure it's not like skipping a step, or a needle, or a thread. Try that, Saranda, and if not. Um, if not on the Tuesday call, because you're in the academy, when you're on the Tuesday call, ask me about it again, and we can probably look through it um, more in detail then. So, where did the hats come from? I answered that. I hope that answered y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna post the link. I'm gonna just Google it and post the link also, because I don't have the exact one right now to say blah, blah, blah.com. I don't remember the website. 
but I, I legit just Googled it and was like, bucket hats in bulk or something like that. But that's all I got. Um, the chair, if you oh, I said I'd, I'd show the chair. This is the chair that um, I'm gonna do the tutorial on. Outside. It's a stadium chair. And I think it's next Saturday that I'm doing it. This is my high school mascot. And you can do anything here. You can basically do a you can do a monogram, you can do a logo, you can do a saying, whatever you want. And we're gonna do the back and we're gonna also do down the arm. Okay? On the single needle. So if you want to, and we're gonna do, it's like a two hour. Um, initially, I had it as just a regular tutorial, but I think by the time we do all this stuff, um, it may be enough time to do a stitch along. So I will let you know where to get the chairs from, well, Walmart. I got my chair from Walmart. So if you wanna grab you a chair, and if you have already purchased the tutorial, you can stitch along with me. Um. Hey, Cora, I haven't seen you in a while. I am glad you popped in. Um, I think I shared into your group, I think. Oh, no, I didn't. Yours was one of the ones that didn't come up, so I'll share after we're done. What else did I miss? Thank you, the hat is what we did today. We did the flamingo hat. When designing the file, I placed the beginning where I want it. The text is going out. What do you mean? Oh, the text, like the text message to remind you to get on? Is that the text you're talking about? Okay. I think, all right, so I think Vanya may have answered that for you, Zoranda. I hope so. Try that. That's all I have. That's all I have. Uh, no, your name on the chair. Okay, so wait a minute. What was the... I noticed your text is going out. Oh, meaning like the direction? The direction of the stitch? Ugh. Let's see if I can get this in hold. Yeah, so I started from here down. So that like while you're sitting in the chair, you're looking down at it. So I stitch it from top down. And then on this side, since this was for um, a couple years ago, I did this for my high school, for our homecoming, because we did like a super reunion. I put my, I did class of 2002. And um, I did it, you know, just whatever class, whatever year they wanted. I don't know why, I thought I, I, I do. I have another one with my year on it. I don't know why. This is the only one, I don't know. I don't know why. Thank you, Vanya. The class is on, it is, it's the 22nd. It, the 22nd is Saturday, right? Yeah, it's, if Saturday is the 22nd, yes, it's on the 22nd, it's Saturday. Um, Sandy, I'll come back and link the, um, the hat. I don't, I don't know the exact website. And I will be using the single needle. I did this one on the multi needle, but I will be demonstrating the um, actual chair on the single needle. What time? Oh, y'all are making me. Y'all. Okay, wait a minute. Let me let me look. Let me see if I can quickly look and give you all better details. Let's see if I can quickly look and tell ya. It is at, did I say what time it is? I did, it's on the Facebook page. Let me go to Facebook. I'm gonna say six. 
It's at six. That's what I was thinking. I didn't. I wasn't sure if it was six or six thirty. I didn't want to quote it wrong. It's at six Eastern time. Did you take the cover off to embroider? Adele, you gotta show up and see, girl. Y'all gotta show up to the tutorial, and I will show you. I will tell you everything from start to finish. Like literally, we will take the um the chair out of the bag and start from there, and then I'll show you exactly how you stitch it out. And um, I. I might even, have, if you're going to ship it, um, Ayana actually gave us a really good resource for shipping. And I'll tell you all about that also. Okay. All right. Will this live be saved? Yes. Yes, Chaz, it will be saved. All of my, so all of my lives, and I say that the my lives are saved in it's so sweet to learn so that's um my free facebook group i go live every sunday at 5 p.m unless i'm out of town or have an emergency but i typically am live there and you can google all of the um so sweet sunday and you'll it'll pull up everyone that i've done i also try to load them on youtube and then i also have a, a new learning platform that i will be loading them on there too so you will have plenty of opportunity to watch a replay My stomach is growling and I just ate. All right, did that answer everyone's question? On the arm. <clears throat> I think so. All right, y'all, so this was fun. I missed y'all. I'm glad I'm back. Remember, we are going to be, we're gearing up for Father's Day now. We're Father's Day, I have a lot of people that are doing designs for Juneteenth. So this, this hat is perfect for either one of those. Um, either one of those events, Father's Day, any, if you have any um, gift giving, if you have, I just wanna put it in your Etsy shop or your YouTube, not your YouTube, your website. Perfect for it, okay? Put girl dad, hashtag girl dad, hashtag, you know, dad, king of the grill. If they fish, y'all, boom. If they fish, put a little fishing hook on here. And do that for them. Whatever the dad in your life is into, put it on a hat, give it to them, easy gift. Um, bundle it with some other things, and there you go. All right. So I will see you all later. Academy, I will see you on Tuesday. And remember, it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. All right. I just put something in the group yesterday about... Our customers, they don't always know what mistakes we've made. And we're so critical of ourselves. Just get it out there. All right. Just get your item out there in the world and advertise it or gift it or whatever. Okay. Practice, practice, practice. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. There you go. I will see you all later. Thanks for tuning in with me. I might, I might go, um... Tamara, I needed to message you. I saw you joined. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let me know if you are having trouble getting in. I need to, I'm going to go to the Facebook group and let you in also. I saw that come through. All right. So I will see you all later. I probably will go somewhere just so I can wear my hat. Okay. It's a good loop customer. I love it. That's what I want. Yep. Yep. It's got a loop. That's exactly. That is exactly. Melissa. Is wanting an after stitch, y'all. If y'all don't know what the after stitch is, a while back I used to um, who is that? I used to do the after stitch in the academy. So basically, I would hop off here and go live like directly in the academy, and we would talk about some things. So I might do that. I might hop over in the academy and we talk about the um, this more in detail. Okay, so I might do that if enough of you all on here. If you're in the academy, you want me to go live in the academy now? Do hashtag academy, and I might just do it. Thank you for everything you do. You're welcome, Jenny. You guys do not understand how much this helps me to be accountable to you all to show up. Because if I if I am like five minutes late, I guarantee you I at least have two messages in my inbox saying, are you going live today? So it keeps me accountable. It makes sure that I show up for you all because guess what? You all show up for me. And I highly, highly, highly appreciate it. It pushes me to try new things and to actually... Um, 
remember what I'm supposed to be doing right, like do some things right because you all are counting on me to show you all some of the good fun ways. All right, all right, I see y'all. Hashtag Academy, Academy, I see you, I see you. Okay, so I will see Academy in a moment over in the Academy. I will go live. Um, I might even hop on this. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna hop on live. All right, but everyone else, y'all, I'll see you later. You're welcome, Carol. I will see you all next Saturday if you're doing the tutorial. Sunday, if not, I'll catch you all on our next So Sweet Sunday. All right? Bye. Mwah. This is what we did today. I forgot to do that. This is what we did today. We did a hat. We did a um, flamingo on a bucket hat. And it was super easy. It was like a three-minute stitch. You can do this. You got this. All right? Bye.